is that moment again, the one you dream of every night. La seule chose qui te préoccupe, c'est la gloire. Le cheminement de la réussite, of pushing yourself further than ever before. But the true glory is in the shadows. Les sacrifices que tu fais, quand toutes les chances sont contre toi, when you can't push one more second, chase the glory. Viseo. Sports on CBC, presented by Les Championnats U-Sport à Radio-Canada. Une présentation du gouvernement du Canada, the government of Canada. Nike, just do it. Fettner. Fox 40, celebrating more than a decade of the Fox 40 U-Sports Coach of the Year Award program. Pierre, partenaire des prix de l'entraîneur de l'année U-Sport. Vera Byrne, medical supply partner of Varsity Athletics since 1979. Partenaire du sport universitaire depuis 1979. Bear, an exclusive supplier of U Sports Championship rings. Le fournisseur exclusive des bagues du championnat U Sport. By Bell, presenting partner of this U Sports Championship. Fier partenaire de ce championnat U Sport. And by Protocase, proud title partner of the 2023 U Sports Men's Soccer Championship. Et par Protocase, fier partenaire en titre du championnat de soccer masculin U Sport de 2023. Good evening and welcome to the 2023 Protocase U Sports Men's Soccer Championships presented by Bill. Hebron University honors and acknowledges that we are located in the Mi'kma'ki, the ancestral and traditional lands of the Mi'kmaq people. We are all a treaty people. This men's consolation semifinal game features the Mount Royal University Cougars and your CBU Capers. A little correction that one, your men's championship semifinal, the Mount Royal University Cougars and your CBU Capers. There for these two teams about to come out. Winner advances to the championship on Sunday.
Let's hear it for your Cougars and your CDU Gamers! Starting lineup for MRU. Goalkeeper Aiden Dumoulin. Number four, Ethan Keen. Number five, Caden Ragonski. Number six, Benedict Mail. Number seven, Joshua Flaxman. Number eight, Nicholas Myronick. Number 10, Jonathan Walters. Number 11, David Schaefer. Number 14, Abel Nesbu. Number 77, Ruben Michael Kudelka. And number 28, Nicholas Meyer. With head coach, Ryan Yaki. And you're starting a lineup for your CBU Capers. Number one, Daniel Clark. Number 18, Rain Lynn. Number four, Ben Fortune. Number 17, Elijah Lee. Your captain. Number 21, Zekuna. Number 7, Owen Shepard. Number 16, Jason Hurdle. Number six, Max Whitegrass. Number 23, Jacob Spizzeri. Number 27, Sebastian Cochran. And number nine, Amadou Bayo. With head coach, Dino Morley. Your referee this evening, Mario. Alayas, linesman Retta Fantazi, linesman Dwayne Anderson, and fourth official Sebastian Nash Inra Veni. From one small building in downtown Sydney offering eight courses to one of Atlantic Canada's most innovative and vibrant universities. No matter where you started or where you finished, you are all part of CBU's alumni family and making a difference across the globe. And as alumni, we are proud, we persevere, and we never forget our roots. Together, we are always orange.
Hey, you sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visitez le shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection Nike Team. Welcome back to the 2023 Proto Case U Sports Men's Soccer Championship presented by Bell here at Cape Breton University, Ness Timmins Field in Sydney, Nova Scotia, the second semifinal of our national championship featuring the number five seed, the host Cape Breton University Capers, the runners up in the AUS versus the Canada West champion and number one seed, Mount Royal University Cougars. And the winner of this one will play for gold on Sunday versus the Les Carabins de Montréal, who just won our first semifinal with a dramatic win over the UBC Thunderbirds, who will play for bronze on Sunday against the losing team in this matchup. Corey LeBlanc, along with you with Bart Sears. Of course, the home cooking will be a key here for the Capers, but Mount Royal, who unseated UBC in Canada West. One last night over York. We'll see our bracket here. We haven't moved the caravan into one of those final slots. We will. And then the Capers or the Cougars will head to the final as well on Sunday. So it's been a dandy tournament so far. We don't expect anything less Bert, from this matchup again between the Capers and the Cougars. Yes, in our first semi-final, UBC and Montreal played to a very high standard. The 2-0 scoreline, not indicative of how tight the game was. And Mount Royal, th they know the standard at which they must play. They, they've played UBC. And CBU, the home team, they've been highly ranked all year. The number one team during the regular season in the AOS and lost a, a close one to... Sandovac's in the final, and they'll be fully locked and loaded. Takuna is back, Peep Grass is back, Lee is back, and they will give Mount Royal all they can handle this evening. And you mentioned that three different, and Zay, uh, Elijah Lee as well were underway. Mount Royal in their white and gray trim, the capers in their black and orange, and we're underway in our second national semifinal. There's Daniel Clark. The hero in the penalty kick win last night over Trois Rivieres. He saved two of four shots to secure the victory. And the starter, Aiden Dumoulin, for Mount Royal. So plenty of star power in this one. The captain, Zay Kuhn, as we, you mentioned, Bart Batten, in the lineup. So definitely a different, different looking starting lineup as we had stemming from the AUS championship game. Zay Kuna, Piep Grass, along with Elijah Lee, all red carded in that one. So they didn't play yesterday, even, yesterday evening's match. So full compliment here for the Capers as they try to get to the gold medal match. And now, early moments here. Spaziri, who I thought had his best performance of the season. Last year's AUS Rookie of the Year. And there's Rain Lynn, that's huge yes. for the Capers. He left late in last night's matchup and really kind of helped turn the tide to the Patriot who come back full marks to them. The tide at two and send it to overtime and penalty kicks. Yes, he wore the, the armband last night. And when he went off, he was sorely missed. And it was Yuki Tiara that had leveled the score after his departure. There's Elijah Lee on that back line as well. Has in the latter part of the season become a key contributor starter for Dino Morley. Hartle, AUS All-Star as well. And now Clark. We'll set it up again. Crowd already into it here at CBU. It certainly was 
a key contributor last night in helping boost their team. And now Cochran tries to poke it through, turn it over, but the Cougars can't make anything from it. And now back the other way come the Capers. And up front, trying to chase that one down was Amadou Bayou. Zekuna, the captain from Casque, Portugal. First team all Canadian along with Owen Shepard and the other all Canadian in this matchup from Mount Royal, Caden Rogozinski, the captain of the Cougars. Meyer trying to track it down. Lots of possession early for the Capers. And now Mount Royal trying to get their pu first push forward. Flaxman, tough last night and he gets chopped down there by Bayou. Amadou Bayou. Crowd didn't like it, but an obvious call there by a referee, Mariel. LIS and there's our first talking to of this one as Baziri gets a lecture here early on. Yes, the foul. We saw that last night yes. with LIS at the helm. As Shepard poked it back. Rogozinski now led his team in scoring. Rogozinski, no doubt, will have a key assignment against Owen Shepard, who had two goals last night. Now, the Cougars. Early opportunity here, deep in the caper zone, steered away. And now, Piep Grass ahead. Good work by Mail, number six. He'll be Piep Grass tonight. now, and trying this good work there by Zay Kuna, trying to send away. His man Bale. Spaziri's ball goes all the way. Behind the goal on Dumalan will restart. Flaxman, a creative player. They'll have to, the Capers will need to keep an eye on him. He'll do what you least expect. Knows where to put that ball, either to, feet, to foot or into space. Cougars early now with some good control here. Spinning from Nessibu, that was, puts it back, uses defender Kudeka. And this is a team much like the Caravan, the Heroes last night come off the bench. The winning goal by Miguel De Rocha, set up by Finn Marshall off a corner kick. And Marshall hadn't even, uh, I think, <laughs> Barely had his cleats laced up right. and made a big corner kick to help set up the game winner in a hard fought struggle with the York Lions. Now Spaziri defending against Mail. Cross Keen. Lays it off. Flaxman now. Flaxman against the veteran Rain Lynn. There's Lynn, fourth year man. Defending there, and it'll be a corner here. So first set piece chance. There's the caper faithful donning the toques and the winter clothing. Cooler tonight here. The rain, we had a couple of heavy showers during our consolation matchups, but that's cleared off. So really overall, first two days of this championship, the weather's been cooperative for the players. Myronic. It's a good curl in, and that's a confident take. Clark, Clark. Ooh, might as well get it over with early that Dino Morley, his head coach, says the best keeper in the nation. First team AUS All-Star the past two seasons. And now on the far side, Zay Kuna, he certainly was missed last night, just that stabilizing force. And one of the guys that helped pick up the slack right there, Ben Fortune in the win. Now off the turnover, Cougars, Myronic, Flaxman, Flaxman, that's going to be a battle there with Rain Lynn. Flaxman, good ball, but taken away by Fortune. Now Flaxman 
with some room, but couldn't get a good shot away. And charging in after it was Meyer, so Flaxman making his presence felt here early on for Mount Royal. That's Elijah Lee, again back in the lineup tonight, Fortune. Lynn back there with them as well. And there's Cochran, Sebastian Cochran, who played well last night in the win for the Capers. And there's Owen Shepard tied for the conference lead in the AUS, had two goals last night to give the Capers a two to nothing lead at the half. And Zay Coonan, they're gonna get the call from behind, we'll see if it's, there's Zay Kuna. It'll go against Bio for, for his hit on Mayo. First team all Canadian has the captain's band back on here for this one. Keen. Poked right back in by Lynn. Keen. Hartle up there battling and a good header forward there by Mayo. Moronic. There he is with the the flowing locks. Peep Grass, Calgary product. Say Kuna now. Really kind of like the point guard of this caper attack as Shepard and Bayou are up front. Trying to pressure the Mount Royal back in and now retreating is Fortune. So early on here, he's gonna have a battle. Plenty of size there for Meyer. It's Hartle. He'll be busy. He'll need to he'll need to call he'll need he'll need to pull the strings tonight. Along with uh with Dakuna for the capers. No one to go. No one just to pause proceedings. Keen with the throw in. Good look here. Meyer. And again, the, I'm not going to get on my uh, jersey tugging rant again as there's some of the caper faithful. They got the buckets and the spoons out. I'm still from my university days. I'm still nostalgic for the pit crew. I think they should still get the DEFCO overalls out for these important matches. Myronic. Lovely ball, but punched away by Clark. Trying Mayo. to settle it, but now they capers off the transition. Cochran up there with Zay Kuna. Cochran. Good defending there by Walter. Now Keen. The crowd incensed. And not that they needed any, any uh, fuel or flame to add to the fire. Cochran, as he tried to. Not sure how much of the ball he got, but play on, said the referee. And there's a tug by Flaxman. So we'll get her. I'll get my first Jersey tug call of the match. As Walter, number 10 there again as our referee, Mario Alayas. Twani Anderson, Reda Fazazi. And again, you see the, of all ages, the caper faithful. Looking to help cheer their home side to a gold medal match on Sunday. Spaziri, first touch a little heavy, couldn't gather it. Bale in there. And Shepard now. Shepard has that blazing speed. And here he may get a chance to use it. Shepard. Can he catch up to it? He will. Shepard crosses it. And Bayo couldn't get a foot on it. So again, just as I mentioned, the speed of Shepard. It helped get a scoring opportunity here. So now the Capers fortune. Elijah Lee leaves it there for Pete Grass. 
Capers now. In control, trying to find a crevice in this Mount Royal D. And certainly one of the best in the country. One of their calling cards. Deep grass, pokes it forward, Sekuna. Myronic right on his back. Lee. Lee looking sharp early on. He's of course had the leg troubles throughout the season that have kind of upended his, the flow of his campaign. Sekuna, the crowd stirring the ramp up here. Cochran, the left foot, the first share man from Toronto, Bayo, and two Cougars hit the deck. Cougars now looking to answer. Nice work there, Myronic. Flaxman, ever dangerous, but a little heavy on the touch. And that allows Rain Lynn to take over, and Lynn gets clipped by Play Keen. On. Play on, says our referee, Flaxman. And Free he'll kick. get the call. Free kick from behind. It was Spaziri. You made a, a, a great point, Corey. With a, with at this level, to have a heavy touch, you you just can't have it. That first touch, you have to assume someone's going to be on you in, in less than a second. So you have to protect that ball with the first touch. Make sure. You know what you want to do with the ball, and also if you're, if you're both teams and you're going to have to judge this on the pitch, you're, you're spacing. Okay, how 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 far do I have to be away, or how how close? And that might depend on where where in the field you are. If you're if you're in your own half, you might have to be a little tighter, because both teams playing with lots of energy tonight, and they're going to be on you quickly. Support play will be will be critical. Territorial vage for the Capers, but a big chance here for the Cougars on the secondary shot. And whistling it just wide was Schaefer. A diving Clark went to his right and missed wide, but a big threat there by the goal scoring prowess of Schaefer almost put the Cougars on the board. Say Kuna now. And one thing about that trio of Zaykuna, but a tough ball there. Uncharacteristic move by Zaykuna. And now a chance for the Cougars in tight. So again, off a turnover, Schaefer threatening. And it all started with that really terrible pass by Zaykuna. And he's got to steady himself here. And now a corner kick. These set pieces so crucial. And we saw it last night for Mount Royal off the game winning goal, which came from a corner kick. And now it'll be Schaefer. This will be the Cougars' third corner kick of the half. Cochran. Shepard coming back to corral it, but can't keep it in. Again, a heavy yep. touch. I think both. Well, maybe attribute a bit of it to the semifinal jitters, but it's been more so on the caper side. A couple of real heavy touches by usually reliable players in those terms. And now it'll be another Cougar throw in 16 minutes in. No score in our second national semifinal. The winner punches their ticket to the gold medal game on Sunday versus Le Caravan de Montreal. Flaxman, who's been dynamic. Oh, oh a lovely ball by there. Meyer. Meyer to Myronic. You won't see any better than that from Meyer. This is top class stuff from the Royals, or the, excuse me. <laughs> The, uh, the Cougars. And now Keen will get us back to play. Headed forward there. Another good play and Clark will come out shielded by Fortune. And those, those are the little things that, that you're gonna, that both teams are going to need to do tonight. And you're gonna have to adapt to the situation knowing, okay, 
my keeper will be under pressure. This is where this is where I'm going to go to support him. So what you do off the ball is at least as important as what you're going to do when you have that ball at your feet. Say Kuna gives it back to Elijah Lee. But headed away now, Say Kuna. One thing he and Pete Grass and Lee should be fresh, mm -hmm. if nothing else, but maybe after a, almost a week layoff, at least in terms of playing, have to get their sea legs again. They better do it fast here against the top team in the tournament, the Cougars, and now Pete Grass. Pete Grass, Myronic. Hard to in. see how My Myronic, that looked like a a bit of a grab, but no call. It was a, given to the Capers as a throw in. Now Rain Lynn, nice move there on Myronic. Trying to find Shepard, but he was against three Cougars. Now say Kuna, trying to weave his way in. Pursuing Myronic. Good anticipation there by Fortune, and it's knocked off the foot of Rain Lynn in a battle there against Flaxman. I think we'll be saying those two names yes. close together throughout this one. This is a game, well, we saw last night with Lynn as the captain. He's, su he's such a calming presence. There's always lots of energy about the capers, but, but Lynn keeps such an even keel. Oh, and a big collision there at midfield. So, big collision there will, as both sides getting a talking to there. We didn't see who collided. We didn't get back to see who was on the ground after that one. So, it will be a free kick here for the Capers. Cochran, freshman from Toronto, has been a presence throughout the season. His ball striking, especially from set pieces, has been wonderful. Cochran into the box just outside the six yard. But the Cougars sharp again, put right back. And again, a heavy chest there for Zaykuna. Say Kuna now. Tries to get one in, but. It's a second good clearance in a row by Kudelka. Shepard nor Bale could get ahead on that one. And now it's Rain Lin. Lin, the veteran, along with Fortune from Maidenhead, England. Bale, the Montreal product, again trying to settle it. Spaziri, Hurdle. Hartle, pardon me now. Thinking back to Saint FX basketball days with the yes. with Jason Hurdles. This is Jason Hurdle, the AUS All Star. You're slight. Well, I, I'm dating myself as well, and that that was uh, well. So big, 30 years ago. Big free kick chance here. Cochran, peep grass over the ball. Peep grass, and they're. Peepgrass lofts it in, it's loose. And the call's gonna go against the Capers and feet get tangled up. And the Cougars want some sort of call. Now another. I think uh, a calming on. chat, Corey. And I don't, I think this certainly, the referee I've seen go to this route now chatting with Zay Kuna and Spaziri. And the only thing, and I know maybe the broader vision for this is to keep things under control and give the players the chance to police themselves, but at times I think it affects the flow as well. Dumoulin. The crowd may be a little bit anxious here at this point, waiting for something to happen. Dumoulin, as he gets jeered by the, we'll call it the, the, 
I don't know what we'll call that section. I'll have to think it over. On the end line of the Cougars here. He got about 15 yards there. Shepard gets knocked down and now Lynn again. Rain Lynn, effective here early again. It was a blow when he left with cramping late in the match last night. Certainly had an effect. Pete Grass now. The Calgary native against his one of his hometown universities. Fiziri, can he get uncoiled? Now trying to get it hurdle. Lays it off. Nice ball there and on the back end, Spaziri. And that, that gets the crowd into it here. That's Cochran again. Wonderful ball in. Jacob Spaziri, last year's AUS freshman of the year, probably didn't have the season he would have liked and I, at least in my opinion, as I said, I thought he had his best match of the season last night in the quarterfinal. And now Lynn with some real estate, Rain Lynn. He'll use Elijah Lee, Lee. Cochran, beautiful ball again with the left foot, but Bale just getting dispossessed of the ball way too easily on a couple of occasions here, I think, of credit again to the Cougars. And their chops defensively as Clark and tangled up there. Clark will take a little bump and on Myers looking for a call there. Lee now. Fortune. 25 minutes in, no score. The number one seed Mount Royal Cougars. The fifth seed K. Breton University Capers. The winner plays for goal Sunday, the loser for bronze. So goes without saying the importance of this one. Zaykuna now. Myronic, nice work there and Pete Grass couldn't come up with it. It's a good example of how tight the defending is, Keen. So, so good, used, used to playing in pressure matches like this all season. There's a look at Flaxman, who's already been through the ringer a couple of times here. It's been physical early, and now Keen will tee up the free kick. You can see his jersey fluttering a little bit, but the wind isn't, hasn't been a factor here in the opening half. Ironic, trying to get it ahead, but the Capers take over. Spaziri, good ball ahead for Shepard. Shepard pokes it forward, and it's gonna be off Spaziri. And Myronic, his calling card, are the spins like that. He's so good at keeping the ball tight to his body. And when he, when he does that, you, you almost have to back off because you might foul him, and that gives him just that extra extra second of time and space in which he can pass that ball. Sekuna now. Close quarters, Capers cause the cough up fortune. Shepard, good work, mm -hmm. muscling, strength as well as speed for Shepard. Now he's in after it. Sekuna, two man game here, Shepard, cross. Headed away smartly by the captain, Rogozinski. And now Meyer. Meyer, nice move on Pete Grass. Flaxman, Meyer looking to get it back. Flaxman, pick pocketed that's, by Lynn. And that's great by Pete Grass. Very good by Lynn to win the ball and then have Pete Grass right there to receive the pass. Fortune. Thought about it, now zips it up the middle, couldn't find Spaziri, but it went to Zaykuna, now he and Spaziri. Can Spaziri keep it in? He does. Jacob Spaziri curls one in, Bale 
couldn't get up for it as it was twisting. And now Hartle, good aggressive defending there by Nezibu. So we get up over the 27 minute mark, no score, quickly inbounded by Cochran. Tried to give and go, that didn't connect, and now Nezibu the other way. It's gonna end up to Lee. Lee will use his keeper, Daniel Clark. Now Lynn, Lynn's gonna have some real estate here, at least momentarily. Pete Grass. And Lee, so Cougars back off a bit here as the Capers look to choose some real estate. Fortune knifes it forward, but Myronic with the interception, so on the counter attack. And Clark makes an easy save off the bounce. The big thing there, he didn't spill it with the Cougars charging in. Lee. Cochran, who's been involved throughout. Up ahead for Zaykuna, and it deflects out off the Cougars, Nezibu. So now the Capers turn it over. Schaefer in close quarters. Back to the Capers. Fortune, Lynn. Lynn, take some space here, young man. Lynn, long ball looking for Bale, and he's going to get the call against him as he upended Rogozinski. Good ball ahead, and you know, 50 50 ball, but Bio's got to be just a, a hair more careful. And there you have a look at Flaxman. Oh, Bale almost get in for a steal of that one. Now, Fortune. He'll use his keeper. Clark up to 30 minutes into this one. No score. Nice ball there by Pete Grass, but. And then down goes Cochran as he got tangled up, it looked like with Schaefer. Schaefer kind of giving the look like, I'm not sure what happened. Zaykuna the captain there to check on Cochran. Good sportsmanship by Schaefer. Although Cochran. Not okay. looking for any exchange of pleasantries there. Clark. So Cochran back to his feet after he, that was Lee up to Clark, or up to Cochran, pardon me. Nezibu. Zaykuna in close quarters. And it'll stay with the Capers. Ikuna, as you mentioned, a couple of heavy touches, but he's just he's just so inv so involved. He'll t he'll touch it a hundred times. So if he heavy touches one or two, it's uh, still a lot better than pretty much anyone else on the pitch. As much as say, especially for the home side, with a chance to get to a gold medal game, that there weren't some jitters as hurdle. And again, Bale just. The connection just mm -hmm. hasn't been there yet. Bale, the first year man from Montreal. Good composure here by Walter. Keen now. Keen feathers it forward, but charging up is Lynn. And again, the pre if the precision isn't there, is. Spaziri too then, easy. Spaziri took a bump after Schaefer. He's called for taking Schaefer down. That Spaziri got bumped by Nezibu. And here it is. Hartle forward. Spaziri. And certainly that was the right call mm -hmm. against Schaefer. And then he kept going. The play was in. I he thought, collided with Nezibu. And, and I thought Nezibu had a little more to do with that. But that was Spaziri. Falling over. Initiating the yes. The contact. So the, the free kick will stay with the Cougars. 
And there's Spazzeri. And now the Cougars, 32nd minute. The captain, Rogozinski. Looking to the corner, Flaxman. With beautiful touch there. But wow, what a defensive effort by Lynn. But it's still with the Cougars. Keane has it deflected. And then headed out by Zekuna. And now Keane with the throw in. Zekuna drops back into a defensive stance. And good work there to get it to Meyer. Meyer tried to knife it to just outside the box. The Schaefer. And there's a good look at Benedict Mayle. Myronic, nice ball for Keane. Keane, and it sails out the touch and Clark smartly let it go. Yeah. As the crowd has quieted here a little bit and we're at a crescendo there early. As this half has settled in as well, 33 minutes in. Really neither side has had one of those 10 bell chances to test either Clark or Dumoulin. Fortune. Floats one but gives it right back to Nezibu. On that far side, now a battle for it. And winning that one was Cochran. Shepard with some room. Shepard the strike! And a big save by Dumoulin. Flaxman now, Keen. Myronic. Fortune with the grab there on Meyer, but now Zekuna. Spaziri. Spaziri strong on his feet on that occasion. Pete Grass. It's a good ball in to, to want to bounce that. And Get now that exactly sorry, as he wanted. Nezibu. Lays it off. Schaefer. Keen. And again, Rain Lynn against Flaxman. That's been a great battle, and Lynn has been sensational so far. And Shepard tried a movie off a go so he can get the spin off the defender and get that speed in gear, but. Rogozinski, good defending there, the captain and all Canadian. The Lynn throw in, that smashes off Spaziri. 35 minute mark. Just a reminder that the 2023 U Sports Women's Soccer Championship is taking place in Kingston, Ontario, hosted by Queen's University. You can watch all the action live on CBC Gem and cbcsports.ca. Kuna. Adva okay, he's gonna play the advantage here. No, Meyer. he'll come back for it, yeah. Back that's now. the right call. And it's yellow card. Yellow card for say Kuna where I've finally gotten that card too for a jersey grab. Yeah, that but was... we've, that was definitely maybe the worst of them yes. all, but we've, seen a couple that have been on the fringe of that one that haven't even been whistled down. And once once the card comes out, it stays out. And now you have Zaykuna on some eggshells. Because he is so involved in every facet of the game, in every part of the field. Schaefer, and the first head on it there coming back to help out Bale. And he gets a hand slap from his captain, Zaykuna. Cochran, Zaykuna, Fortune. And Lee now, that's Lee on the far side. Elijah Lee. Oh, lovely ball here and off to the races are the capers. Shepard, and coming back, good back check by Mail. But again, that speed of Shepard, there he is, the St. John's Newfoundland native, Fortune now. 
Crowd getting pumped up again. Zay Kuhn after that run by Shepard. Lynn. And knocked off his foot there by Flax when he thought it went off Rain Lynn. As again the the orange army getting cranked up here. And they're gonna referee's gonna march back. Rain Lynn quite a bit here. Because again though you can kind of steal a couple of yards, but when you and Rain march back some more. So Lynn now. Snapping it forward. Bale. That's been Bale's best touch so far. And it freed it up for Spaziri. Spaziri hustling and Hill. So a big early effort here by Jason Spaziri. Jacob, pardon me, Spaziri. There he is, number 23 of the Capers. And now Dumoulin, 38 minutes in. It's up the sideline. It'll stay with the Cougars. Jamie Nicholson, number 10 for the Capers. About to come in. And Jamie Nicholson, I think of him the, said uh, about the spark off the bench. He's like back in the days of Vinnie Johnson with the Detroit Pistons, the microwave. He instant offense, and that's what the Capers got with Nicholson last night. And now... Zay Kuhn, a lovely ball for Shepard. And a diving play by Mail. Actually, Rogozinski, pardon me. So. Zay Kuhn, a lovely ball here for Shepard. But the all Canadian Rogozinski stayed with the dangerous Shepard. And they're going to get Bale on that call. And I think that was the right one. as. Myronic now, and then it is Bayo to the bench. Yeah, good shift, but didn't didn't really have it all, it all his own way. And y you'd have to say that Kadelka had him had him in his pocket. So Nicholson, the product of North Petherton in the United Kingdom. Caper throw in, no foul on the play. Meyer looking for one. Cochran, there he is, number 27. Spaziri, Fortune. Now Elijah Lee. Some room there, and again that left foot. Hurdle with a great play there, but he just couldn't get around the Cougar defender. Shepard got a head on it, but then it's cleared. And a grab there and another, but no, yep. they will get the call on Hurdle. Just a reminder that tickets are still available for the 2023 Proto KSU Sports Men's Soccer Championship here at Cape Breton University. You can go to usports.ca or scan this QR code to get your tickets. Play on. Peepgrass looking for that one. Pete Grass back to his feet. Keen lays it off. Flaxman. And there almost Pete Grass. Oh, now a chance here. Meyer. But just tangling him up enough. Was Elijah Lee. Shepard patrolling. Turnover. Nice passing in close quarters. Now Shepard chips it forward. There's Nicholson. And he tried to send Shepard in, but a big defensive play there by Kadelka. So we'll see how this combo of Shepard and Nicholson, they had some magic late in the season. Pete Grass, he'll get the call this time against Myronic. The Cougars, there was Flaxman, great effort. And again, just that 
Lee was able to fend off Meyer, and that's not an easy chore. Meyer, some size up front. Lynn. Nicholson can't get it, but Spaziri does. But he has it taken away, but Spaziri dog it. And they're going to say Peepgrass got all ball there. Hurdle now battling. And now Nezibu feeds it ahead. Good ball to Schaefer. Schaefer now through the middle. Oh, and tough ball there, but a frustrated Flaxman. And he showed it there. If, didn't need any words for sure, although I think there were a couple of those accompanying his frustration. And now Spaziri, Peepgrass. Shepard trying, again, that flick move on Rogozinski. One thing, Rogozinski seen them all, the All-Canadian. That ball got, got caught up in the wind. And now Flaxman. There's Lynn once again, this battle. Flaxman, Lynn, got a step. But Clark off his line before Cougar could get to it. It's good again by Clark. Defenders need absolute confidence in their keeper so they don't find themselves out of position. Nezibu now. And he's tripped up by Nicholson. There you see Flaxman. Nicholson who came in moments ago for Bale. And we've seen an, any number of times Keane cut into the midfield and is a, a willing recipient and delivers a great ball as well. Myronic being shadowed by Zaykuna. Myronic. Lovely work there to get it to Keane. Keane has some room here. But closing him out was Fortune. Now Nezibu. Ahead for Meyer. Schaefer. But a sliding tackle there by Lee. Cougars now threatening. As we get up to almost 45 minutes into this one, we'll see how much time is at. It's Baziri Dipsy Doodles. And he's off to the races. Hurdles ahead as is Shepard. One minute of added time. Shepard thought about it. Back to Spaziri. Spaziri, far post. And Dumoulin smartly off his line. And, and there's a Cougar player down too on the end line. As Dumoulin. We get ready in the final moments of this. And there's Shepard. Thought it again about the strike, but laid it off for Paziri. Nice ball to the far post. And the collision on that backside was Cochran. Didn't see, I think it was with Nezibu. Nezibu. I think so. Getting close to the half here. Nicholson heads it out. And that is our halftime whistle here at Ness Timmins Field. So it's been a battle here in the opening half. Probably deservedly scoreless. Pretty even. Cougars and the Capers for a chance and a national goal. So again, your score at the half. The Mount Royal University Cougars and the Cape Breton University Capers scoreless. You're watching the 2023 Proto-KU Sports Men's Soccer National Championship presented by Bell and even the Caper dog, four-legged friends are ready for the occasion. We'll be back with some halftime highlights in a few moments. You're watching all the action on cbcsports.ca.
Voici les candidats pour le prix de l'entraîneur ou l'entraîneuse de l'année Fox 40 U Sport. The nominees for the 2023 Fox 40 U Sports Men's Soccer Coach of the Year are Du Sport Universitaire de l'Atlantique, from the AUS, Fran Kennedy, Université saint francis Xavier, saint Effects University. Du Réseau du Sport Étudiant du Québec, from the RSEQ, Pat Raimondo, Université de Montréal, University of Montreal. Des Sports Universitaires de l'Ontario, from the OUA, Marcelo Plata, Université Carleton University. Et de l'Association Ouest Canadienne, from Canada West, Larry Stuffenick, Université de Victoria, University of Victoria. Le lauréat ou la lauréate du prix de l'entraîneur ou l'entraîneuse de l'année Fox 40 U Sport est, the winner of the Fox 40 U Sports Coach of the Year is, Pat Raimondo, Université de Montréal. University of Montreal. Les candidats pour le prix de l'engagement communautaire U-Sport sont The nominees for the U-Sports Men's Soccer Community Service Award are Du Sport Universitaire de l'Atlantique, from the AUS, Luke Berryman, Université Dalhousie University. Du Réseau du Sport Étudiant du Québec, from the RSEQ, David Harrison, Université de Sherbrooke, University of Sherbrooke. Des Sports Universitaires de l'Ontario, from the OUA, Alexander Domingos, Université de Nipissing University, et de l'Association Ouest Canadienne, from Canada West, Chris Lee, Université de la Colombie-Britannique, UBC. Le lauréat du prix de l'engagement communautaire est The winner of the U-Sports Community Service Award is Luke Berryman, Université Dalhousie University. The nominees for the 2023 Lou Bilek Award for the U Sports Men's Soccer Rookie of the Year are En nomination pour le prix Lou Bilek décerné à la recrue de l'année 2023 en soccer masculin Du Sport Universitaire de l'Atlantique, from the AUS, Isaac Van Weichen, Université saint francis Xavier, saint Effex University Du Réseau du Sport Étudiant du Québec, from the RSEQ, Maxime Bourgeois, Université de Sherbrooke, University of Sherbrooke Des Sports Universitaires de l'Ontario, from the OUA, Michael Maslanka, Université de Toronto, University of Toronto, et de l'Association Ouest Canadienne, from Canada West, Brennan First, Université de la Colombie-Britannique, UBC. Le lauréat du prix Lou Bilek en tant que recrue de l'année en soccer masculin U-Sport est The winner of the Lou Bilek Award as U-Sports Men's Soccer Rookie of the Year is Brennan First. Université de la Colombie-Britannique, UBC. It was my greatest thrill When we just stood still You let me hold your hand Till I had my fill It helped you to See you through 
Whatever life looks like to you, we're here for it. For life as you know it. Insurance. Investments. Advice. Canada Life. The nominees for the 2023 Joe Johnson Award as the U Sports Men's Soccer Player of the Year are En nomination pour le prix Joe Johnson décerné à l'athlète de l'année en soccer masculin U Sport Du Sport Universitaire de l'Atlantique From the AUS, Kyle Cordero, Université saint francis Xavier, saint Effex University Du Réseau du Sport Étudiants du Québec From the RSEQ, Gregory David, Université du Québec à Montréal, UCAM Des sports universitaires de l'Ontario, from the OUA, Omar Marzouk, Université Ontario Tech University. Et de l'Association West Canadienne, from Canada West, Sebastian Jakowski, Université de la Colombie-Britannique, UBC. Le lauréat du prix Joe Johnson décerné aux joueurs de l'année en soccer masculin U Sport est the winner of the Joe Johnson Award as the 2023 U Sports Player of the Year in Men's Soccer is... Sebastian Jakowski, Université de la Colombie-Britannique, UBC. We had cable internet. Oh, sweetie. We've always had cable internet. <laughs> Once you're used to Bell Pure Fiber Internet, anything else is terrifying. Gonna crush the bake sale tomorrow, huh? And. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is that the sugar you've been using? Yep. You put it in the cookies? Yep. The cupcakes? Yep. The brownies? Yep. Not the snickerdoodles. Yep, everything. Huh. From our bakery to your table. So be it, Selby's. À quoi ressemble votre vie, vous pouvez compter sur nous. Pour la vie comme vous la vivez. Assurance, placement, conseil. Canada Vie. Unbelievable! History has repeated itself! Get the stories behind the glory. Watch, listen, stream, read CBC Sports. It starts with a collective vision. A shared history, a bold dream. It's full of hope and prosperity for an entire island. It's built on a fusion of culture, 
collaboration, and ambition. A future of our own making, by our own hand. Full of new ideas, innovation, and wonder. Together, we create unprecedented opportunities. Together, we build a sustainable way forward. Together, we welcome the world and change it at the same time. Now and forever, Cape Breton University. Hey, you sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visitez le shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection Nike Team. and investments and all that, but we're not just gonna be about the bottom line. We're gonna be for the people. We won't just sponsor things. We're gonna build things like playgrounds and businesses. It's gonna be great. Who's with me? Dave, that already exists. It's called a credit union. There's one two blocks over. Two blocks? Do they have a website? Dave. Discover an ocean of possibilities at Cape Breton University. Turn your diploma into a degree with over 20 programs and 60 areas of study to choose from. Explore fields such as engineering, business, and education that offer opportunities for real-world research and paid co-op work placements. Gain a world-class education and form lifelong friendships on Canada's most beautiful island. Take your next step at Cape Breton University. Visit cbu.ca. Back, folks, to the 2023 Proto K Shoe Sports Men's Soccer Championship presented by Bell. Live from Cape Breton University in Sydney, Nova Scotia, we're at the half in our second national semi final. The Mount Royal University Cougars, the top seed in the tournament, the number five and host Cape Breton University Capers. Scoreless here as we get ready to start the second half. Corey LeBlanc along with you. Joined by Bart Sears, and it should be a dandy second, Bart, if it's half as good as the first half. Excuse me, that first half was scintillating stuff, Corey. And to have to have at least 45 minutes more is a great treat for us and for all the viewers tuning in. So the Cougars in their white and gray trim, Capers Donnie, they're black and orange, and we're underway here in the second half. Both teams have had chances, but again, not the of the Tim Bell variety, but both have certainly had spurts here. And that's Meyer. Lays it off there and now backtracking, but reloading. And here's Nezibu. We'll see him on this near side in this half. Ahead and night forward Schaefer, but that was behind his mate Walter. And there's J Jacob Spazier who had a fabulous first half coming off what was probably his best effort of the year last night in their quarterfinal win. 
And now Hartle in after it in a good battle, shoulder to shoulder with Nezibu. There's a look at Abel Nezibu. It's in the box, but swatted away. Meyer, and they're going to say they let the advantage, and then once it was lost, the initial call against Fortune. Walter now. He'll leave it there. That was male. And unable to come up with it was Walter on the feed from Schaefer. Now back the other way, the Capers. And again, Shepard. And the winning 50 50 Had a half a step there on Kudeka. And now back with possession, the Cougars, but they give it up. That was Zay Kuna who come up with it there. Cochran, oh, and gained a piece of it. A diving play there by Nicholson. He almost headed it from the ground and tested Dumoulin, here it is. And then it mm -hmm. ricocheted off of Rogozinski. What an effort there by Nicholson. 47 minutes in, no score. A trip to the gold medal match on the line. Nezibu. Walter. Back to Nezibu. Nezibu with those long strides. Walter. Myronic. But the Capers take over now. Hartle, left foot to the head. Nicholson in a battle here. And there's the size of Kadelka. Taking over Spazeri, a nice move there. Gets it to Zay Kuna. He'll use his back line of Fortune along with Lee. Nice run here and just a little long and heavy for Cochran as he and Hartle try to connect and there's a closer look at David Schaefer, one of the top scorers this season for Mount Royal. Kadelka, Nezibu gets it back, Nezibu up the sideline. Lovely first touch but great close out there by Zay Kuna and now Spaziri. Lays it off, Pete Grass, say Kuna. Redirected it forward, Hurdle. Nice ball and another from Zay Kuna found Cochran. Cochran shows he has the right foot as well. It's loose. Couple of headers and then punted away. But Zay Kuna, nice directional header there to Hurdle. So the Capers. Good anticipation there and coming to help out was Meyer defensively. And now he wants to get back up front. Cougars now off to the races. Meyer heading to the net. Nice ball by Ronick. And it's blocked by Elijah Lee. Heavy touch, good recovery, advantage. Will be a free kick. Foul against Hartle. Hartle chops down Schaefer. Free kick coming. Looks like it's going to be a booking for Hartle here in the 50th minute. And that's the best the Cougars have looked in transition. It goes without saying that, that Shepard can, can turn on a dime and can absolutely fly. And when he gets a ball in from Cochran, you're, it, it's hard in, in mouth. Or, uh, Heart and, and, and mouth stuff. So a big free kick here over the ball is the tandem of Schaefer and Walter, 10 and 11. Clark directing traffic. We'll see a bit of a win there, see if they can get it up in there. Walter, it's loose, headed away. Myronic. And he's going to get the call. Mm -hmm. It looks. And a booking 
And the crowd, some jeers in there. I don't know if it was the, the captain, Rogozinski, that was booked number five, who was up on that play off the free kick. So consecutive bookings here in quick fashion. The capers now back to the offense. Still looking for our first goal here. Hartle forward. Spaziri looking forward along with Hartle. Pardon me, that was Fortune with the kick. And now Cochran. Sharp on the throw ins, goes short. Oh, lovely two way play here with Hartle. And there's a caper down. And still down, not moving much at all. It's blown down as Spaziri. As he's, he has moved, he rolled over and is, and he is looking for a call here. Didn't see what happened to him. As slow to get up. And he may have to go if it's a, not sure if it was a head injury or not. He doesn't look to be not sure what it was. And there's a look at Rogozinski, the first team all Canadian. We have three of them in this matchup. Rogozinski and Shepard and Zaykuna for the Capers. And now Nezibu. Nezibu gets it back. Trying to get away from Hurdle. Lays it off in the middle of the mail. And now on that far side, the Cougars. Heading to the front of the net is Meyer. Meyer with some size there. And you see it in that rip. Way high, way wide. And now Clark, and again, some more jeers from the caper faithful. 53 minutes in. Again, no one's been able to get on the scoreboard so far. Nezibu, our first semifinal that ended up two to nothing for Le Carabin, was yep. scoreless until pretty late as well in the win over UBC, and that's Hartle once again. And Hartle, he made the right play on on that ball, running running onto it. It ended up on the on the foot of a Cougar player. But if he had stopped, he was in danger of conceding possession as he wasn't in a, a great position to receive that ball. Cochran again trying to send Nicholson and Shepard off to the races. Nice ball there by Spaziri. Hurdle, top of the box, but there's Myronic. Goodbye, Mayo. And now Keane. Keane has been lively. Certainly a key guy for the Cougars. Male. Keen, and they play pitch and catch. So they look for a crevice, and there's a nice ball in the Myronic. The far side. And Clark, Flaxman, couldn't find anyone in the box. Boomed out by Clark, but right back by Rogozinski. Getting up in the air there, Kodelka. So plenty of size on that back line for the Cougars with the tandem of Kodelka and Rogozinski and now Myronic trying to muscle his way up the far sideline. You get a good look there as Myronic and Rain Lynn, the caper veteran who's had another great match here, left late in last night's quarterfinal with some cramping. And now Nicholson, lovely ball there, laying it off, but it's even for someone with Shepard's gallop, unable to catch up to it. Now Dumoulin, Dumoulin bowls it out. Kodelka up the field, trying to flick forward. Cochran now, Hartle trying to turn, and he's going to get the call on Nezibu. Tight, tight quarters. And now Zaykuno leave it there. Big free kick chance, and mm -hmm. you have that 
dangerous left foot of Cochran. We'll see what the Capers can get from this. The set piece is ever so important. Cochran lofts it. Top of the box. First 10 on it, Zekuna. It's loose. Capers wanted, I think, a handball call. Mm -hmm. Didn't, didn't see it. And now Cochran wiping the ball off to get the best grip he can, Hartle. Spaziri, Spaziri, good battle here, Spaziri against Schaefer, or Walter, pardon me. Cochran, nice ball into the box, but Myronic. And then coughed up. Here's a look at Max Pete Grass. Say Kuna with the header, and it wasn't Just all chest. Part of the, part of the arm, but the arm was right next to his body, so no way that will be given. Wasn't it flailing? No, away from the side of male. But they've they've tightened that rule up. If it's out even a little bit, they they can ding you. So that's that's good composure. Nezibu gets it back and then puts it forward now. Zekuna lofts it. Again, trying to send that combo of Nicholson and Shepard off to the races. But they have a tough assignment against that stout back line. Spearheaded by Rogozinski along with Kadelka. Myronic playing just, just a little deeper. Just slightly in front of, of Mayo in the middle of the field. And Myronic, again, so good on that first touch. And he can, he can pick a pass. Myronic, another good play. Myronic is loose. But he couldn't find anyone. And Capers defend well. Again, looking to go long to Shepard. And Nicholson is just not connecting right now. And Clark booms it out. Rogozinski. And it's going to go to the Capers here. So yep. a break and a chance off the free kick here. And there you see the size on the back end. Kadelka, number 27, along with Rogozinski. And they're flanked by the dynamic duo of Keane and Nezibu. Lee, Elijah Lee, Zaykuna, he'll use his defender Fortune. Fortune, trying to find Cochran. Can he get behind Nezibu? Cochran, centered it. Uh oh. And the call's going to go against Nicholson. Nicholson. That's a yellow card, yes. Had the, the cleats were up. And a like to have another look at this. This is great play once again, Cochran. And uh, Mayo was in the way, but I think Nicholson, the the way the, just the way I saw him after that, it those, cl the boots were uh, 90 degrees from the from the turf. And it was Rogozinski went down as he's trying to. Get adjusted here. He's going to be needed down the stretch of this one as we get up in the 60 minutes in this semifinal. Again, the winner will play for gold on Sunday versus Le Caravan de Montréal. And the team on the losing end will play for bronze against the UBC Thunderbirds. Deflected. Spaziri who's had another strong match for Dino Morley. And now Shepard feathers it forward, trying to find Pete Grass. But Keane took over. Capers now, again, marching forward, looking for that all-important first goal. Crossed into the box, Nicholson. Not the connection he wanted there on his first touch, but Good work there by Shepard to cause the corner kick. And going to their bench. 
Brian Gayaki coming into the battle. Skyler Rogers, we saw him last night. Didn't see who he's spelling. The player went out will on be, the end line. Will be Schaefer to go. Rogers in for Schaefer. Capers first corner kick. Cochran's been good with the left foot. Oh, and on that back end, Fortune. Touched by a Cougar. So they'll try from the other side. Shepard's in there, Nicholson. You know Zay Kuna's around the action. And it will be Cochran once again. Actually, no, it'll be Peatgrass, Peatgrass from that right from, depending on what way you're looking at, the right side from the keeper's perspective, the left on your screen, Peatgrass. Good punch out by Dumoulin. Batted off Zaykuna and it'll be a goal kick. So the capers come up empty on back-to-back -back goal kick opportunities. Looks like Rogozinski's going to just lay it off to Dumoulin and now Kadelka off the hop. Rogers fresh off the bench. Now Fortune forward and Mail will put it out off the header. Capers again pushing their, bullying their way into the Mount Royal zone. Good first touch there by Fortune. Then the lead ball there. Now the Capers. It'll deflect out for a throw in. So again, back into possession in the Mount Royal end. Rain Lynn will come up to take the throw in. The veteran fourth year senior. Snapping into the box but cleared by Keen. Good little header by Peepgrass. By Ronick. deflects. Battle there, coming away with it is Meyer. Meyer lays it off. Nizibu, off to the races. Nizibu on the counter attack. Lays it off, nice ball there by Rogers. Rogers, headed away by Lynn. And then forward by Spaziri. And now possession, Nezibu. He'll try it again with Rogers. To the corner, nice ball for Nezibu, gets turned. Nezibu being watched by Hartle. Rogers will look to reload, and now coming in Rogozinski. Nezibu. Rogozinski, nice ball there. And chopped down. Fortune. Fortune. And it's a yellow for Fortune. And the yellows starting to add up here for the Capers. Rogozinski, patient, found Keen. And Keen, Fortune, missed. No ball at all, and then chopped through Keen. And it, it looked there how Keen had that, maybe a bit of a heavy touch. And Fortune maybe could have got on the ball, but he didn't, he didn't want to take the chance. Big chance here, Daniel mm -hmm. Clark on the spot. Free kick from just, I'd say 19 yards out. And now Pete Grass, you see him there. The, Capers trying to get organized here defensively. Big chance for Mount Royal. Can they break the seal here on the scoring? Over the ball, Rogers. Along with Walter. Walter steps over now. And now Perhaps. Myronic must be some blood maybe. Yeah, he's, he's leaking. So he has to, of course, vacate while he's bleeding, but now they're, and he's gonna hit just, a, all of a sudden he stepped out of bounds and I'm coming back oh, in. Oh, right into the wall. That was, that was, 
was in quite tight. Sliding play there. And free kick. A pair of players down Roger. there. Rogers is one and a caper as well. Trying to see through the sea of legs here who the caper is. That went down. It's Hartle. So throw in here for the Cougars. Scoreless tie, 66 minutes in. Who has that magic first goal in them in our first semifinal? The Caravan found it. DeRosha coming on. Who had the game winner. But what turned out to be the game winner late against York in the quarterfinal. And, I, and Meyer's still on. So I'm not sure. And it will be Myronic who is spelled. It was the player who left. We think he had to go to the bench because of blood. Mm -hmm. And given, given the circumstance, I'm not going to give that more than two or three minutes considering what's, what's at stake here in the national semifinal. So some zone pressure last couple of minutes here for the Cougars and now they'll reload. They'll use their keeper Dumoulin and now Kodelka. Kodelka upfield. Gets caught up in the wind a bit as he looked to get it to Meyer. And now Nicholson. Lovely touch there by Nicholson, but he was stripped by Nezibu. Nezibu. He'll put it back to Mail. And now Dumoulin. Uh, the Capers want to get Nicholson and Shepard uncoiled here. Trying to come in the steal, it was Fiziri. It'll be a caper throw in. There's a good look at Sebastian Cochran. First season from Toronto. Cochran. Has a second look and now finds his captain. But coming to take it away was Meyer, but Zaykuna got it back, far side. Lynn, Lynn is gonna use his keeper, Clark. Clark booms it out. Twisting. And now the Cougars, another caper down. Looks like Zaykuna trying to get stretched out. He was here, Spaziri. Now the Cougars. Good touch, no, he's not going to give that. Nezibu, swooping in with Shepard. Shepard wants to get in the mix here. Nezibu, nice ball It's a good there. ball. Headed That's away, Lee. Elijah Lee. And then it was DeRosha who scored last night. And you see, I think Shepard finally said, I'm getting in the the middle mm -hmm. of things here. It looks like Nicholson's gonna check out for Nikolai Schurenbrand. Nicholson, I think we might see him back. And Al Clark, Schurenbrand, and maybe looking, Schurenbrand might be able to get physical with the tandem of Kadelka and Rogozinski bringing some size there up front along with Shepard. Capers have not had a lot of the ball. They, they won the first half, but it's been the Cougars. Good skill, good speed on display. Nezibu. Zibu getting some instructions from the bench. 
There's Zay Kuna, the captain. Spaziri gets it back Good. from Zay Kuna. Hartle ahead. Shepard deflects. Dumoulin. That's good by DeRosha. Didn't pick up a foul with the ball at Shepard's feet. Throw in now for Cochran. Capers. Actually, it's Ooh. going to be a corner and the quick hitter, Cochran. And deflects out, didn't get much from that. Hartle, Lynn, settled the strike, they score! There he is, Owen Shepard, just like that. It looked like Mount Royal was in full control, but not on the scoreboard. Owen Shepard with his third of the tournament. And the first time he was open that much tonight, and he made no mistake as the crowd goes wild here at CBU. The home side. Here's the initial ball by Rain Lynn. And the play by Schurenbrand off the bench to Shepard. Yes, to have a, a target man, as you said, Corey. Someone just to, to lay the ball up and lay it off. And again, it may be a little more size with Schurenbrand going up against, as I mentioned, the likes of Kodelka and Rogozinski. But wow, what a turn there. As you mentioned, Bart, really this half has been mostly Mount Royal. And the Capers now trying to build off this Shepard goal. Another one of what a deadly striker, Owen Shepard. He doesn't need many chances. No. And that was really only a second, what you'd call quality opportunity as the crowd, you can see them getting into it as Shepard encouraging his side. And we talked about in the previous match, the substitutions by the caravan. So Dino Morley looking smart off that one, bringing in Schoenbrand. And what a great touch off the long ball with his chest and found Shepard. And now the Capers looking for more. And I think that might be, it's a yellow card on that play. There's Lynn, Lynn, the veteran. And watch Schoenbrand just settle it, actually chest it right to Shepard. Not even a second touch right off the chest and directed it to Shepard. And there you see the goal score. And that's what can happen so much in these matches. You said carrying the play somewhat here in the second half have been the Royals. But the Capers break the seal on the scoring. Now in the 74th minute. They were ahead two to nothing last night in the second half, so they know all too well this one's far from over. Chance here, but Dumoulin smartly. Oh, right at the line. tip of the 18. Sharon Brand, who's been full of pep since he's come in. But now the Cougars, that speed again. Rogers, Nezibu. Crosses, headed away, peep grass calmly. Oh, and they're gonna get Sharon Brand. That was a tough one. Yeah. And it was against DeRosha, and DeRosha a little bit of a wry smile there. It's going to be a free kick, so a big chance here for the Cougars, who have just fallen behind on the Owen Shepard strike. Clark directing traffic. Daniel Clark, the hero last night in penalty kicks, can he Keep the door burned shut here against the Cougars. Rogers 
Deflected away and then boomed out. And look, like I say, Shepard, anything that requires a foot race. Shepard's as good as anyone. And they, the, the, the Cougars kind of, kind of wasted that free kick opportunity, a glorious There's Owen Shepard. That deflects out, it's off hurdle. Nezibu now, looking to the corner and trying to muscle free. Wow, tough there by Elijah Lee against yes. the much bigger Meyer. Nezibu now. DeRosha, Nezibu. DeRosha with the left foot, fur post. It's there. Off the rebound, but Clark able to gobble it up. I think that was DeRosha that had the rebound chance. And Clark and the, the boisterous student uh, reveler section here on the baseline, the end line. Mail, great hops there to get up to get it. Walter now, he's stripped. Look to be in. And it's out to touch, so it'll be a throw in for the Cougars. Down a goal, up to about the 78 minute mark now. Keen, who's been stellar tonight. And they have created some good chances down this flank. And the call will go the Capers way there. I think it's going to be Meyer getting called for the physicality there. Now look at Rain Lynn. Another great performance by the veteran who, again, we were wondering throughout the day, will we see Lynn in the lineup? He left late in last night's match. An easy call. Sure and Brand. Sure and Brand. As he hauled down Keen. And a no doubter here, it was kind of yeah, and he kind of put the half, a yeah, half a of a scorpion uh, death lock on yeah. him as well to haul him down. Yeah. As Sherbrand gets a little talking to. And he's got he's got one more. He'll go in the book. It looked like, again, all the momentum here midway through the second half. Capers got a couple of yellow cards. It looked like the Cougars were on the crux or on the fringe, pardon me, of <laughs> opening the scoring, but another great play there by Rain Lynn. Yes. And certainly the, the scoring of Shepard, you can point to some, but no one's been any better here tonight than Rain Lynn. He's basically taken Flaxman out of it. Nezibu now, too long for him. Hartle, Hartle trying to get away from Nezibu who has to be careful. Hartle, good battle here. Hartle still after it. And they're gonna say he was pulled down by Hartle or was. Zero's there, but I, I don't think the call is against him. Oh, a chance here is Rogers, but the captain, Zay Kuna, flicked forward, Shepard Schoenbrand, and he's gonna at least press Kadelka. And Kadelka had to take the safety valve. Great ter territorial gain. Canada's top university runners head to London in the historic Tamu's Valley Golf Course for the 2023 U Sports Men's and Women's Cross Country Championships on Sunday. The women's race at noon Eastern, the men at 1 Eastern. 
and exclusive coverage of the Cross Country Championship Sunday at 11.30 a.m. on CBC Gem and cbcsports.ca. Cochran. Spazeri puts it back in. Schurenbrand looking for it. It's a smart play by Kudelka. And there's, again, our score, Owen Shepard. Tied with AUS MVP Kyle Cadero for the conference leading goals as Keane looks like he's going to be spelled. And I think he's in some discomfort. So it's the only way he would be coming off. And Finn Marshall had that big corner kick. And it's Keane off. Marshall, who again set up the winning goal, the only goal by DeRosha. Shepard crosses it off Nezibu. Dumoulin, 82nd minute. Still plenty of time, but one eye certainly on the clock for the Royal, Mount Royal Cougars. The number one seed, can the West champions. Foul. And that was an Deep easy grass. one. And they don't like it to I the Cougars. I don't, and I, yes, they don't, and Schaefer, but I think if you're on the, I think if you're on the caper side, you don't like Schaefer coming over either. And Peep Grass, yeah, definitely, I mean, it's definitely foul. foul from behind. No doubter there, Meyer. But yeah, I'd be if I was a caper, I think I'd be a little perturbed about Walter coming in and kind of trying to show up Peep Grass. Peep Grass now, the Calgary product. First team AUS All-Star this season. National All-Rookie team member in his freshman year. Poked through Cochran and now Kadelka. Skyward. Hartle couldn't get ahead on it. Now he's in a battle against Rogers and Meyer. Oh, feathery pass there, Cochran. Trying to get it to Sherbram, but Sherbram was a step slow as Cochran floated it in, but no one on the front end of it as their caper faithful. They're feeling a chance at goal here, but still plenty of time remaining. They learned that last night it was a two goal lead against Trois Rivières. Peepgrass now has been taking, I guess you'll say the right, the, the right foot at corners with the angle. Peepgrass, far post, but a wasted one there. You want to get at least an opportunity for a spill or a foul, something, but you don't get it when you kick it out of bounds. And I, th I think for a player of his standard weekend, as I see the uh, the wind. Might Moving on the tarp, I think that uh, that definitely played a factor. Yeah, that's a great observation, Bert. As you said, someone of Peepgrass who scored off corner kicks here at CBU. And now the Royals. Or the, I, yes. We have one each. Yeah. That's our Anakinish connection. It has to be. With the high school team name being the Royals and me and Kay Breton here also with the Riverview Royals. Peep Grass. There you get a look at him. Flaxman. Can Flaxman maybe work some magic and get loose from Lynn? Flaxman's going to be seeing Lynn in his, depending on the outcome here, his dreams or his nightmares after this one. Lee. There's Flaxman, now being stood up there in the call. Goes against Pete Grass. Creeping up to almost the 86th minute. Cougars go back to their bench. 
Alex Kemsley is in for Walter. So our first look at Kemsley this weekend. Keeping it on the deck. Mail. Good work there to keep that alive. Now it's loose. Oh, a chance there. Now a shot. Oh, and it's deflected. Still in play. Cougar throw in. Couple of opportunities there, but Cougars couldn't get it through to Tess Clark. Caper defense stiffening here. Spaziri. Chasing after it, it's loose. You can kind of feel it here for the Cougars. They're knocking on the door. Flaxman lays it off. Now into the box, trying to get ahead on it. Oh, just took a bad bounce. Bad hop, if Almost you will. Almost a chance there for Kemsley. And now Nezibu. But Clark off his line. He's going to. Yeah, that was. As Clark, as much as Meyer initiated the bump. But Meyer Lost the is head. Clark. But again, you have to protect the keeper as well. Kemsley tried to get a let, tried to get away with one. And there that? it is, Clark. And you see that he Meyer, excuse me, 28. Invited the contact as well, but the call goes against Meyer in the card. Clark. Time taking away, but we will no doubt have. We should be that should be one of our little contests this weekend. Is the guests on the? I'm saying at least. I'm saying in four minutes maybe as Goldstein comes in. What a performance by Jacob Spaziri. Yes. As I said, his two his two best performances this season, and someone may tell me differently, but. In the big games, he's come up big for his capers. Off to Kuna. Or is it Kuna, excuse me. Shepard. Now Nezibu. There's Zay Kuna. Again, three capers who missed last night's match. Zay Kuna, Lee. And Peepgrass have gone wire to wire here, so you can see their importance. Long ball, Clark oh, uses fantastic. his size to climb the ladder against Meyer. And the crowd loves it. Clark, a fan favorite, is even more solidified with his performance last night in the penalty kicks. Clark, sky high. Creeping towards the 90th minute. Chance now. The Rocha. Right idea to be sure. At this point, yes, you don't mess around with it if you're Ben Fortune. But you better close out De Rocha. Wow, great play in close quarters there. Now a chance. Oh, and a shot block there, and down goes. Trying to pick up, I think it's Lee. And dumped out. And now Dumoulin will start to inch his way up. Three minutes of stoppage time here. Three minutes between the hometown capers and a shot at gold. Can the Cougars rally? Do they have some bite left? Meyer. Cougars right back to it. And really in the second half they've done, not that they've had 10 alarmers, but or 10 bell chances, but they've had the territorial advantage, but haven't been able to solve the CBUD or Daniel Clark. There you see the crowd getting pumped up here. They know we're in the closing minutes possibly. Can their capers bring home? A gold medal 
appearance as Clark Boss. off the header by Meyer, but it didn't have much on That's it, but good redirection. But the big thing there, Clark, he didn't spill it. Owen Shepard, he's starting to feel it. And they did a great job on Owen Shepard tonight, the Cougars, but the one golden chance he got, he made it happen. And the Cougars, full marks to them, and it's not over yet. Nezibu. Nezibu. Zaykuna. Good work there by Meyer. Now put to the corner, Marshall. And Marshall had that big corner kick late last night in the quarterfinal win over York. Nezibu there with Shepard. Keep everything up everything the field. Everything wide. And, and as you said, field. up the field. Cochran did just that and hit it smartly forward as Kadelka. There's Pete Grass. Banged it off mile. DeRosha couldn't come up with it. Chipped forward smartly there by Pete Grass. Don't know how Mar Royal kept that one in. There's Lynn, deep. You better watch Shepard as he get muscled aside by Nezibu. Nice touch there, Meyer. And Meyer goes down. Trying to maybe get across. And now it's Rogers running to chase it down. Getting late in this one. Cougars, do they have some late magic here? DeRosha spinning. And that's it, the Cabrick University capers and Owen Shepard will play for gold on Sunday against Le Caravan de Montreal. And the celebration is underway. And they're trying to keep the players from allowing the fans onto the field. Full marks to the Cougars against the hometown team. They had a lot to play in the second half, as you said, Bert, but they couldn't score. And then Owen Shepard really his only 10 bell chance of the item. There's still some talking from Mount Royal to the officials as the team start to shake hands. A thrilling 90 minutes, Corey. Mount Royal threw everything at them. They absorbed that, that first half pressure. The ball's in from Cochran. The, the chances for Shepard and then they they really controlled the play, the tempo. They had a good system, trying to put balls in, you know, at good angles, and then try to try to find uh, up up top Meyer, Derosha, Kemsley, when it came to it. So they, they they try to think their way through the match, but the instincts and the first strike of Shepard is uh, is such a threat and. To defend against that for 90 minutes uh, is is a big ask. Uh, they were, you know, uh, the, the when they brought on uh, number number 19, excuse me, Schoenbrand, that was absolutely key. And his first his first touch. And one laid thing is, Shepard congratulates Nezibu with Owen Shepard. He doesn't need many chances. We saw it last night with a pair of goals in the opening half. And again, he didn't have many prime ones. Here's the Cougars played him well as the dancing's begun. But there's still work to do for the Capers if they want to win their second men's national championship. And can they do as the Caper women did when they won their national championship, win it at home, and they'll have a chance on Sunday when they go up against Le Caravan de Montreal in the bronze medal game, it's going to be a Canada West battle, a rematch of the championship between the UBC Thunderbirds and the Mount Royal University Cougars. Rain Lynn 
with the ball and Sherbrand angled it off his chest for Shepard who made no mistake beating Dumoulin and you can see the air come out of Nezibu. And, and it's, again, it's celebration time here at CBU. And, and more than likely, the player of the game for the Capers will be Shepard. And, you know, fair enough with the goal, but... I'll give Lynn, a 1-8 to Rain Lynn. Yeah, it just and a not, phenomenal performance. And not that... When you think of different elements, not that you... He played poorly. I don't think you got the A game at Aze Kuna tonight. He uh, just didn't seem to get on track. Peep Grass back in the lineup. Lee was solid in the back. And yes. there's Shepard Gaines. Spaziri, another great performance. You have to mention him as well. And then yes. the Cougars as Shepard was over to shake up with the Cougar opponents. And full respect for them from the Capers. They knew they'd be in a big battle, and there he is. As you can see in the caper uniforms, the RC, that's in honor of their late former head coach, Robbie Chesson. Actually, his son, Connor, is a caper, and he passed away tragically a few years ago, who turned the reins over to Dino Morley. And I know Robbie Chesson is not far from Dino's heart as he tries to win the program's second national championship on Sunday. So just to set the table for you before we step away for the night, our consolation final tomorrow will be the St. FX X-Men up against, Bert, help me out, it's leaving my mind. The York Lions. The York Lions, thank you very much. I'm having a little bit of a moment there. That'll be our consolation match, 1 p.m. Atlantic time tomorrow. And then on Sunday, in our bronze medal game at 11 a.m. Atlantic standard time, it'll be the UBC Thunderbirds and the Mount Royal Cougars. And then at 2 p.m. Atlantic time, it will be the K. Breton University Capers and Le Caravan de Montréal for gold. And you'll get to see it all here on CB Sport, cbcsports.ca. So again, the final in our second semifinal, the Cape Breton University Capers won. The Mount Royal University Cougars no score. For the Nova Stream crew, Bart Sears, I'm Corey LeBlanc. Good night from Sydney. You've been watching the 2023 U Sports Proto Case Men's Soccer Championship presented by Bell on CBC Sports. .ca. Once again, let's hear it for CBU Capers. It's that moment again, the one you dream of every night. La seule chose qui te préoccupe, c'est la gloire. Le cheminement de la réussite. Of pushing yourself further than ever before. But the true glory is in the shadows. Les sacrifices que tu fais. Quand toutes les chances sont contre toi. When you can't push one more second. Chase the glory. Viseo. Sports on CBC, presented by Les Championnats U-Sport à Radio-Canada. Une présentation du gouvernement du Canada, the government of Canada. Nike, just do it. Fettner. Fox 40, celebrating more than a decade of the Fox 40 U-Sports Coach of the Year Award program. Fier partenaire des prix de l'entraîneur de l'année U-Sport. Vera Byrne, medical supply partner of Varsity Athletics since 1979. Partenaire du sport universitaire depuis 1979. Baron, exclusive supplier of U-Sports Championship Rings. Le fournisseur exclusive des bagues du championnat U-Sport. By Bell, presenting partner of this U-Sports Championship. Fier partenaire de ce championnat U-Sport. 
and by Protocase, proud title partner of the 2023 U Sports Men's Soccer Championship. Et par Protocase, fier partenaire en titre du championnat de soccer masculin U Sport de 2023.